something to rely on. Finch can always go and drop back in there if needed for time and space here. Got in fact, nice little ball forwards, a real chance here. Lau have scored! Lau have scored! They have shocked and stunned Singapore. And it's Kampen who gets his second of the tournament. It was a penalty against Indonesia. He walked past the Singapore defence, and that was a great walk pass through. And Kampen, right place, right time. Have a look at this. The most easiest goal he ever scored in his career, probably. Singapore defence, Chi Jiayi got out there when he should have been just tucking in to make sure that uh, he covers their centre backs. Have a look at this. They carved them open so easily. That was super fun, mate. They played well. That's a wonderful first touch as well to get the ball out of his feet. He crosses it in. They need to make split second decisions, but. Uh, Oh, it's a lovely ball threaded through, onside as well, this could be two and real trouble for Singapore, what a goal, Kjolbien Fitt makes it 2-0 to Lau, you could not write the script, where has that come from, this is unbelievable, well you summed it up for this is unbelievable, again, it's the pace of the Laotian forward, Kuventian, does ever so well to cut back, puts it on his favourite right foot, pulls the trigger, giving his one Mahmoud no chance whatsoever. Again, the Singapore defence, who've been decent so far in this competition, going to sleep. Poor by two goals to nil. Both of those two teams that are winning by the two goals would qualify. Mustafic clips it forward. Safwan with a little nod down. Unselfish. That's a vital goal for Singapore. And that is a big change from Radi Abramovic. He's made the change. They've scored the goal. And they are back in this game. Well, if they're going to have any chance whatsoever in this game, they needed to score before half time. And that much, much better. Introduction of Kairul Amri. And of course, uh, Shafalisa straight away paying dividends for the Lions. And have a look at this. It was. Shafran Barudin just hitting the ball across. Well, he could have gone for goal. Shadow Lishak again. The goal scoring it across at the first game. Yeah, Shadow Lishak there. So on his 100th cap, he scores his 10th international goal. What a great moment for him. More importantly, a great moment for Singapore because it puts them. So we'll withdraw that one about Tringano. Juric with a flick on, chance, Shavalishak, it's his second of the game, it's his fourth of the tournament. It Tonight, have a look at this ball, it started with Alexander Duris just flicking the ball onto the path of the skipper, cuts back with his weaker left foot, let's say, just passes the ball into the back of the net, does ever so well to get past his marker, again, what a player he's been for the Lions in this competition. Without him, they would have been really, really struggling. Now the Lions are well in it. Oh, they've roared back. It's Kyra Lamry! Singapore go back to the top of the group. By Kyra Lamry, ever since he's been on this path, he's changed the game around for the Lions. Have a look at that strike. Peach of a strike giving the keeper no chance whatsoever, trying to get across the young fella, but unfortunately, the power and the pace and the accuracy of that strike, too much for them to handle. That's a great sight, look at the technique there. As soon as the ball left his foot, you knew that it was... He looks up, checks back, waits for the support. Cypher Lessa, who's done well in there, loops one to Fadzal, now at the floodgates are opening, Singapore! The Lions in control, have a look at this, Kairul Amri, it was his industry that actually caused his goal, working ever so well, getting the ball back to Shaiful Issa. have a look at his cross, just puts it on the head of Fazul Nawaz, who still had to work for it, just catching the goalkeeper in the front post. Fazul Nawaz, for all his hard work he's done tonight, gets the goal, and it was Shaiful Issa again making a big, big difference. The change. Sada on the burst from the centre half position. Five. That should be a yellow card. That's got to be a yellow card. Yun Kailam has upset the first game that he did. That's a dive. He's dive straight between the two players. Your opinion, Sass? Well, you know it's a tough one to call ball. I, I can see what he'll step up. 
he actually went to the keeper's right with his first penalty. And that's exactly where he's gone with his second penalty. But what it means is we've got a game changing all the time. It means that Singapore have a plus three goal difference, Malaysia plus two. So Singapore still are currently top of Group B. That is where we are at the moment. But that could all change because if Lau were to equalise, then that would mean that Malaysia...